video, I wanted to show you how I use Spark and things in my daily workflow. So I use Spark as my email client of choice. Uh, and there's a couple of cool features in there. I just wanted to show one that I use every day in my daily workflow. Um, and it's to send an actionable email into my to-do app. So I'm going to go into my email app and I have this demo email that I'm going to use for this demo. And um, this is something that I need to do, take action on afterwards, but I don't have time to do it right now. So I'm going to go here and click on this on these three uh, dots here for more. And I've already set this up, but you can add a service if it's not already there. There's a number of different third party services that you can integrate with with Spark. Uh, but I use Things as my to-do app. I've already set it up, so to take action on this email later and add it to my to add it to Things, I'm just going to go ahead and click on Things, and it brings up this dialog where I can edit this. So it just take by default it takes the subject line of the email and fills that in. But I'm going to go ahead and type that it, delete that, and add some context. Maybe this is due. Uh, or it has a bid date of 7, 8. Um, now here you can either select it to embed the body of the email into the item in things. But what I like to do is highlight link and I'll show you why later. And I can also uh, pick a start date. So either later today, tomorrow, or sometime in the future. But let's go ahead and then just put um, later today. I'm going to go ahead and hit save and then it's going to export that into things now if i go into things my to-do app go ahead and pick that and in my inbox is the item that i've exported from spark so when i can double click on that so earlier i left it to export a link instead of embedding the body of the email so what it does is embeds a link that when i click on it it opens it back up into in spark so if once i'm ready to take on that task i can go ahead and click that link and it brings me back to the actual email so i can take action on it which i think is super useful and i use it every day in my daily workflow uh, rather than having your inbox be a to-do app uh, once emails come in i read them i can either take care of them right then and there or i can just delegate it to my to-do app things so I can take action on it later on. Uh, I hope you like this video. Um, there's a ton of stuff in Spark and things that I do on a daily basis. If you want to see videos on those, go ahead and leave me a comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.